Hello Wanderers! What's up? We are here for another One Take Bag Review and today we've got something pretty cool. Look at that. This is the Jansport Stranger Things collaboration. So uh, I've been excited to get this in, excited to talk to all of you guys about it. I don't know if you like the TV show or not. I actually did not buy this because of the TV show. I bought it because uh, it's a pretty cool looking bag and I've always been uh, a fan of this particular model from Jansport and they did some cool uh, touches here and I like the colorway. So let's dig in. You know what we do here. We do one take bag reviews. We're going to do a full walkthrough of the exterior of the bag. We're going to look at all the pockets, nooks, and crannies. We're going to talk then about two things that we love about this bag, two things that mm, not so much, and an overall recommendation. Should you buy this bag? Let's dive right in. All right, so first off, you'll see some of the cool uh, design details, and, and I've still got even the tags on this. As soon as it came in, I wanted to review it for you guys and talk about it. This is first impressions of this bag. You can see that they've got um, Jansport, the tag here says made in the upside down instead of made in the USA. Um, and you can see the tag itself is upside down. That's something from the show. It's kind of a cool touch. You can see instead of the Jansport um, logo down here, which is usually where this leather attachment point um, it says, it says ST for Stranger Things. Um, really subtle though. It's not over the top. You don't have, you know, a, a big picture of a demigorgon on here or anything crazy. Um, it does come with a couple of sew-on patches. There's four sew-on patches here that you can utilize. Um, the back of the bag, uh, you've got the typical straps for this model um, and a grab handle. The model, the whole bag itself is super lightweight. Um, let's dive into uh, the pockets. So first off on the front, you have a little drop pocket right here. Inside, it's gonna to be tough to see. In this pocket, I'll show you in another pocket. Um, you have a, a little bit of an admin compartment. You've got two little drop pockets, uh, one of which is a pin sized and one of which is, uh, let's call it uh, playing card sized. Um, and then a drop pocket in front, um, very thin material. No pocket on the top here, no slip pocket or drop pocket. Um, you go immediately into the main compartment of the bag. All right, main compartment wise in this bag, you have a pretty cavernous interior with this kind of red and black uh, motif on the inside. On the front pocket, you have a small mesh pocket. Um, fairly convenient size, um, but nothing down here at all. So this is one big main compartment. Um, for you to toss, you know, a change of clothes into, uh, books into, etc. All right. Then you have, these are billed as water bottle pockets on the side, um, but honestly, they're kind of anything pockets. Um, you can see you've got one on each side, and it's kind of, in my mind, the defining feature of this bag. You can do uh, a tech pouch in here where you put uh, cords. You could do a, uh, certainly a water bottle if you'd like to, a small umbrella, etc. cetera. Um, but I think it kind of makes the look of the bag and makes for some of the functionality. Up top, you have a felt lined pocket for sunglasses um, or your iPhone or AirPods or whatever, and then on the back, you have a felt-lined 15-inch laptop or tablet um, slip-in pocket. So, that's the full review. It's a fairly simple bag. It's got a cool look and feel to it. Um, I'm a fan. Um, it's called the Demigorgon Hunter Bag. Um, it is a field pack from Jansport, but just kind of done up with uh, some unique features. Um, so. What do we like about this bag? So first off, um, I like the creativity um, and I like what they've done. It's really subtle, so it's not over the top. Um, some of the, the collaborations with uh, fantasy shows, uh, Star Wars collaboration, uh, Marvel collaborations are just a little over the top and they look like a kid's backpack. This doesn't so much. I think, you know, if you didn't know you wouldn't know that this is a Stranger Things collaboration bag at all. Um, so I think that's kind of cool. I like that. Um, what else do we like? These side pockets, the functionality, super cool. Love that. 
Love that you can slip kind of a pencil case size te tech holder into there. Um, I think that's incredibly useful. Two things that we don't like as much. These straps are totally off. I mean, it. it's like this bag was made for a three-year-old. Um, so that's a big problem. The straps, they're padded well, but they're just rinky-dink and tiny. And, you know, I, I hate when straps come up to a point like you don't even have a neck. Um, so, yeah, I don't like the straps. Uh, the second thing I don't like is the choices they've made with the main compartment of the bag. So let's take one more look at that. It is a main compartment. They could have put a secondary tablet sleeve back here. It wouldn't have cost almost any money at all. And then a second pocket right here on the inside. As it is, it's just a pocket or it's just a compartment. There's, there's not much to it um, and there's very little functionality to it. So if you're a minimalist and don't like a ton of interior organization, cool. I like a little bit of interior organization. Okay, should you buy this bag? Well, if you wanted um, a, uh, a field pack from Jansport, I think this collaboration is uh, the nicest looking colorway for the field pack. But overall, should you buy it? No, I mean, it. you can buy a Jansport bag like this for like 25 bucks on Poshmark or eBay. Um, so there's no need to pay up for this colorway really. If you are a fan of the show and uh, you like the look of this bag, by all means, it's cool. Um, but uh, I can't recommend it just as a bag. Um, I, I can recommend it as a collectible um, and memorabilia for the show. All right, so that's the review. I hope you liked it. If you did, please leave a thumbs up um, and subscribe. Uh, this is what we do. We do gear reviews and bag reviews, um, and we always just let you know how we feel about the things that we have our hands on. So thanks, you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.